Sea otters occupy a special place in our hearts. Their adorable faces make them some of the cutest aquatic animals out there. From skillfully being able to juggle, to sleeping in the waves, and sweetly holding hands. In today's list, we'll be giving you our top 11 facts about how truly cool and cute these sea otters are. But before we begin today's list, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel, as well as hitting the post notification bell so you never miss another update from us. There are 13 species of otters. 13 species? Of course, we already knew that. Not. There's 13 different species of otter, and the only places that you can't find otters are the continents of Antarctica and Australasia. In the US, you can find two different kinds of otter, the North American river otter and the sea otter. These two are often confused, but river otters tend to be much smaller than the sea otters. River otters have prominent ears, swim on their bellies, and travel very quickly both on the river and on the land. Sea otters, on the other hand, live in the sea. I guess that doesn't surprise you too much, but unlike river otters, sea otters travel very slowly on the land. River otters use their cute webbed feet to paddle, but sea otters paddle with their hind feet and their tail. River otters will normally weigh around 10 to 30 pounds, or 4.5 to 14 kilos, and have small, cute heads. Sea otters, on the other hand, will weigh around 45 to 90 pounds, or 20 to 42 kilos, and have big, cute, furry faces. To basically sum it all up, river otters are amazingly cuddly, but sea otters are even more amazingly sweet and cuddly. The only problem being that we don't recognize recommend that you actually cuddle these cute sea otters because they might actually scratch your sweet little face off. There's three subspecies of sea otters. First, there is the Asian sea otter, and this one is found near the Kroleri Islands in the north of Japan and all across the ocean until you arrive at the Commander Islands, which belong to Russia, and those are located in the western Pacific. This group of otters is the largest subspecies. Its skull is a little larger than other species of otters. There is even the northern sea otter, which can often be found in the Tulian Islands of Alaska and all along the ocean until you arrive at Oregon. Their lower jaws are longer than the lower jaws of the Asian sea otter, and there are more northern sea otters than Asian sea otters. The third subspecies of sea otters is the southern sea otter, also known as the California sea otter. These otters can be found near the central and southern coast of California, hence the name, the Californian sea otter. Sorry to labor the point. But sadly, there are at this moment only around 3,000 southern sea otters that still somehow hang on to life in the wild. The southern sea otter is an endangered species and is on the IUCN red list. Otters have interesting relatives. Otters belong to the family of the Mustelidae, which is the family of mammals that include weasels, skunks, wolverines, and honey badgers. Honey badgers sound cute too. The Mustelidae often have long streamlined bodies, thick hair, and scent glands at the base of their tails. Alaska has the most sea otters. Up to 90% of all the sea otters in the world love on the coast of Alaska, so I guess that's just where we have to go if we want to see these cute little animals. Many of the sea otters live in national parks, such as Kenai Fjords National Park, Kodiak National Wildlife Refuge, and Glacier Bay National Park. The indigenous people often believe that an otter is linked to death and drowning. In other cultures, otters are believed to be sacred animals that bring good luck. Let's cuddle them. Believe it or not, out of all of the animals living out there, sea otters have the densest fur of all of them. Sea otter fur has almost a million hair follicles per square inch. That is too much hair to even imagine. Sea otters don't have a layer of blubber like other sea animals. In order to keep their bodies warm, the fur of the sea otters traps in air, and this trapped air forms a warm layer of insulation, which helps to keep the otter warm and cozy in the iciest of seas. Sea otters do love their food. Being the amazing hunters that sea otters are, these otters are super agile and love to use their body skills to be able to catch themselves some delicious fresh fish. Sea otters will eat up to 25% of their body weight in food every single day. It's a lot, believe me. Eating so much delicious fish has a price. Sea otters spend over five hours every day looking for and catching food. These sea otters eat around a quarter of their body weight every single day. These otters have to eat this much in order to make enough energy just to keep warm in the chilly seas. Sea otters love to eat sea urchins. Okay, we gotta admit, that's not exactly the first thing we order off the menu when we go to a posh restaurant, but sea otters just adore 
or sea urchins. They also eat guzzle mollusks, crab, and clams. On occasion, sea otters dive as deep as 250 feet to find a tasty seafood snack. They use their sensitive whiskers to locate small prey that hide away inside crevices. Sea otters also use the paws to dig for clams. They end up being messy eaters, and after a meal, they leave a pile of littered chunks. You can find leftover pieces of urchin floating around, not everyone's favorite nibble, the tools. To crack open seashells and clams, sea otters will use rocks. That is so clever of them, don't you think? Sea otters just grab a rock, wedge it between their chest and armpit or foreleg, and then pound the shellfish and clams against the rocks so as to break them into tiny, tasty chunks. If sea otters really like one of the rocks, they'll even store it in a little bag under their arms. Isn't that so cute? Their natural abode. Did you know that sea otters can live most of their life without having to leave the water. The average lifespan of a sea otter is about 23 years, and they can really swim and go underwater for up to eight minutes if they ever wanted to. Sea otters will sleep on their backs while floating in water when they get tired. Could you even imagine doing this? Wouldn't you be scared that you'll just float away into the distance? The sea otters actually wrap themselves in kelp or hold hands so that way they don't float away. Social creatures. Sea otters are so sociable, living in groups of hundreds of sea otters. The collective term for sea otters is raft, romp, or bevy. Sea otters care a lot about their pups. Newborn pups stay close to their mothers for the first six months of their lives. They need a lot of attention to take their time learning survival skills. Before their fur even develops, the fur is far too dense for them to swim underwater. This makes hunting easier for the sea otter moms. The pup can float around while the mother searches for food, and she might even build some kind of playpen for her pup. Otter moms care so much about their pups that they don't even mind adopting orphaned pups. To keep her pup nice and warm, she blows air into the pup's nose to create buoyancy. The mom will then allow her pup to sleep on her tummy while she floats on her back. Mom otters really love grooming and cuddling their babies. In 2001, at the Monterey Bay Aquarium, a female otter had a stillbirth on the same day a newborn pup got stranded in the wild. The pup was then handed over to the female otter, and she quickly became its mom. Of course, this is so sad, but it's also great that it has a happy ending in the past. Aquarium staff would help raise the pup, but found that the otters became too attached to people and can't be released into the wild again. This new way works better, as otter moms can adopt the pups and raise them too. Each otter plays an important part in the otter community, and otters play an important role in nature too. If the otter population is healthy, then the watershed is healthy. If there are no otters, then there's evidence of habitat fragmentation, pollutants, or habitat destruction. Otters like to have fun, and they're chatty. Can you imagine that these cuties can build themselves a slide, and that they can make a lot of noise? Otter pups can make 11 sounds. This is known as infant babbling. Giant otters have about 20 different sounds that they can make, and one of their signature sounds is a hum graduation. They use this to call each other to change direction. Sea otters make the sound ah when there is any threat around them. Otters will even juggle with rocks. They do when they are bored or hungry. They like to build slides near the banks of rivers too. They might be super cute, but beware. Just looking at a picture or a video of otters playing can make you feel better after a bad day of work. Sea otters just look like they're always smiling and happy. But behind a sea otter's cute smile lies a powerful jaw with strong teeth. And if they bite you, it's gonna be a bit like a German Shepherd. That's painful. So it's best to stay at least 50 yards away from them. Sea otters prefer to stay away from us, and if they do see us, they'll normally flee. Please never try and feed sea otters. They can take good care of themselves. Every year, from September 21st to the 25th, is Sea Otters Awareness Week. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, like the video, and post notification bell so you never miss another update from us.